step and I bring it right back. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Leo, good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Had to scramble a little bit to get ready for stream as I I uh really didn't have any time to prepare, which is why I'm a few minutes late. We had a storm roll through. There was, there was concerns for power outages and or internet outages. Fortunately, none of that occurred. However, it did keep me at least slightly occupied. But I have made it. Here we are. Huh. I'm just stumbling in. I feel wholly unprepared. I don't, I don't even know if everything is set up correctly. I mean, it looks it looks mostly correct. Like, how many how many pieces do I have to stream? Is everything in place? I don't know. Probably. Well, happy night before Friday, everyone. I'm thrilled to have an oak. Okay, why? Hello. Why is my uh? There we go. Mouse sensitivity. That's the word I was looking for. Whitney, good to see you. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming by. Your void orbs are getting up there, too. They're creeping up. <clears throat> All right. Now. I don't remember which direction we were going. Probably up. For those who weren't here at the end of last stream, we're we're doing a little bit of catch up here because there's just treasure out there. Treasure under the stronghold. So I got to do a little bit of catching up because 
end of stream last time, I had one of those moments where the game decides to shit the bed. As we were just cruising through, doing great. Okay, so we fought some of our way in here. I fought all the way in, and then the game had a fit, which meant I lost some progress, which was very, very irritating, but... Nonetheless... Ah, uh, yes! You're you're out and about, right, Leo? That's that's in like the the Caribbean, correct? If I recall correctly, an island of some sort. Are you living it up? Are you are you having the best of times? I hope so. I am <laughs> I am sad that I am, you know, several months back at work after my vacation. I loved vacationing. It was a good time. Somewhat? Well, I hope... I hope it can be as good as it can be. Alright. I don't know how to get to that treasure. Probably not from here. All right, let's just get in here. Fight the good fight. Punch some jerks in the face. Uh, okay. It looks like maybe I was just... This must be their den. Yeah, it was just like a room behind. <laughs> uh... Yes, Whitney. I, I haven't had one of those in a while. Uh... But I certainly have. Oh, hold on. I just realized I don't think my key bindings are going to be correct right now. They're not. I got to switch that. Okay, now we're correct. Oh, giant chess. Are you much of a chess player then, Leo? Nope. Nope. Bro, how many bullets? That many bullets. Speaking of bullets, I'm a little bit low now. Uh, we got to do some crafting. Okay. Need some healing items. <laughs> you don't remember the rules? I... I remember the rules. I've never been, like, a huge fan of chess. It's just never really been a particular interest of mine. I know the rules... I know the basic rules. I know that there are uh, a few rules that I'm not, like, super familiar with. Um, that are, like, the more the more advanced ones. Though I've, I've seen them come up a little bit more. Because uh, I've been watched... I occasionally watch, like, a Sea Dog VA uh, streamer who's done some chess tournaments and stuff. And just watch a little bit of that. And so, like castling i'm not totally clear on like the rules for um there's a uh en passant for the pawns that i'm not totally clear on either stuff like that but i mean I, it's, it's never been a sufficient interest to me to like go you know track down those rules either so you know also some large coral reefs that's cool that that's one thing that that was kind of a bummer when, when we went to australia we weren't in the area um 
with the the coral reefs and really whoa 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 bro came out of nowhere we're really low on the shotgun shells okay nice herb chem fluid there's a whole ass healing item that they just handed over Let's get our buns up and... Hey, bullets. I love that for me. Uh, we weren't around where the coral reefs or anything were, so we didn't really get a chance to, like, explore that aspect of Australia. So that's, that's awesome that you've got somewhere you are. Freaking relentless. Wow, I just cleaned through both of the domes. Well, that helps. All right. Okay, Whoa. big guy. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Here you go. Here you go. I got you that. Hey, Kappa. Whoop. Ay, 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 ay. Just will not die. I missed. There it is. Yeah, happy Friday. Perfect crystal skull. So fancy. I hope everybody's week has been pretty good. Mine has been relatively chill. No orb bartering. Oh, that does in fact just open. Hold on, I see a thing down here. Explosive rounds, nice. Gunpowder. Ah, scuba diving. Have you been, have you gone scuba diving? I've never been scuba diving. My dad actually was really big into scuba diving when he was younger, though. Never actually managed to get out there to do it as well. He does have some amusing stories, however. Ah, it's too bad. Uh, and as to... As to your question, Winnie, I got slightly distracted by being, you know, nearly killed. Definitely had some of those days. So, one, one of my best stories of days at work that were just like, what the hell is this? Um, so, I've, of course, mentioned before that I am primarily a software quality engineer. I walk, work on a dev team. We make stuff. Um... And then, you know, we give that to the client who's asking us to make stuff. We put stuff into production. Sometimes things go wrong, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, quality person's kind of the last one who does any checks to try to get things as clean as they can be. So I was working with a client quite some time ago, many, many years ago, when I was kind of earlier in this process. Uh, 
or I should say earlier in this career, working on a team, putting out a uh, point of sale kiosk. Doesn't really matter. Um, no, hold on. The king's order has finally arrived. Withdraw. It is most vexing that we must abandon the border stronghold to these heretics. If I had but a little more time, I know I might be able to turn the tides of this battle. Nay, I should not put on airs. It is my curiosity that ties me to this place. There are a number of ruins in the vicinity which the locals say are very ancient. The ceremony site with four giant statues, the caves with murals carved on the walls, the stone plinth they call the giant's chalice. Where did the people who built them come from? Where did they go? It irks me that we must abandon this place without knowing. Hmm. Um... And so, anyway, we were putting out stuff, blah, blah, blah. We'd, we'd been putting some stuff out, and we we put a release out, and it was, like, the first time that we had a, a newly introduced defect escape. And so, you know, I found it the morning that it went live. I was like, all right, well, we'll start documenting it so we can fix it. Oh, I've seen this before. I know there's a boss in here. Um, uh... So started, you know, logging that, and then already, like, by that time, one of the, uh, the, the client side sort of product manager or whatever found out that happened and starts contacting the team and everything, and he actually res called back in and was like, hey, you know, we've got this escape defect, you know, what are we going to do about it? Do we need to, you know, change who is the quality, you know, the QA person on the team? So, like, one single thing goes out. Oh, okay. I should have moved. And the first re response he has is, oh, yeah, I guess we should just remove the quality person from the team, right? Which, of course... It's me. It's just like, oh yeah, we should just ow. swap somebody, right? Which is not at all how our place of business does things. And so, like, it was this whole ordeal of the client just being like, yeah, we had a small error, so it's time to get you off the team. Uh... And, of course, my team backed me up and was like, yeah, that's not how any of this works. I know, right? Yeah, the team had my back. It was just like, no, nah, man, that's not how we operate. You know, that was a team failure. Things like this happen. And we just fix it later. It's not, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, but that... That was a whole, a whole thing. Like it got escalated up, you know, the chain to our like CEO about, you know, hey, what, what are we gonna do about this client relation? They're asking for ridiculous nonsense. Um, hiya. Um, my manager did give me the option to like leave the team if I wanted to because it's like yep you be working with an asshole aren't you so it's like if you if you want to switch teams you can and I was uh I am belligerent no it wasn't that critical and you know I'm I'm actually underselling how ridiculous this is, partially because I'm in a boss fight, partially just because there's, like, so much context to provide to, like, really make it clear how insane of a thing this was. Um, I will, I will try to cover it a little better. So, it wasn't critical. I don't remember what it was, but it was not a big deal. Well, see you later, Leo. Thanks for coming by, and I hope you have fun. Um, so, so for context, it wasn't critical. I don't remember what it was, but 
this was this was a code base that we had inherited. So the client had already like made this for the most part, and we were really they they recognized that it had a lot of problems. So they they came to us to make it less shitty. And we were like, yeah, we can definitely do that. And so we were. And so, so for one, like that that context, I feel is relevant. Like it was it was really bad, and we were making it less bad. And a small error occurred, and so they were like, "Well, time to go." Um. But like one of the one of the issues that they had put in there that. I had specifically found and we had, you know, had to fix was actually the ability. So I mentioned it was like a, a kiosk. So like this was a customer facing uh, application that you would go into the store and you would order your food on it and then they'd make it and, you know, you'd pick it up to go and whatever. I'm not going to tell you where it was because for, well, a number of reasons, but regardless. And so one of the things that had been pre-existing in this application that I found for us to fix was the fact that they had left, there were two ways to log into your rewards program in the app. And through one of them, they had improperly like authenticated and protected it such that as long as you knew someone's phone number you could log into their account and get full, um, like full access to in, into buying as that person, which wouldn't be such a huge problem, except for the fact that this application allowed you to tie uh, gift cards and credit cards to your account, which meant if you knew someone's phone number, you could log in and buy food with their credit card. So that was a problem. And that's that's what was in the app before we got to it. Not like what I had left in the app that they were concerned about. Okay, my dude, you don't seem to be taking very much damage. We gotta, we gotta get the old big guns out. Oh, well, the big gun did the trick. Shit. Yeah, they did a bunch of stupid stuff on that app. Um, they made it so you could just, you know, log in and use somebody's credit card. Um, they had also set up when they were making they when they were making people's gift cards um or when they when they made gift cards they created gift cards sequentially which is a no-no when you are when you are running like a business and you and you try if you use gift cards and you have to generate numbers for gift cards you should never make them like Gift card one is number, you know, one. Gift card num two is number two. Gift card three that you make is number three, right? So, like, you can't do that. They have to be randomized numbers because if they're in order and the world at large finds out that your gift cards are in order, it means that they can just test all of your numbers to find out which one has value on it to just steal the value off of the gift cards. So they did that, which was stupid, and they shouldn't have done that. Um, but the problem was, of course, somebody did find out that they did that. And and the bigger problem had been that they were encouraging people. You know what? I should run through and make sure I picked up like all of the ammo that was in that room because I don't, I'm, I'm real low on ammo now. Uh, so, of course, somebody found out. They started stealing stuff off gift cards, but they had been encouraging everyone to load the gift cards into their um, their apps and then to just toss the cards because they don't need them anymore. They've been saved to your account. The problem was once the um, 
it got out that their gift cards were sequential, they started getting hit by uh, essentially DOS attacks, except they were just scrolling through their gift cards to find out what they could get value off of, you know, like thousands of times per second to just automated bot through all of their gift cards. And so they had to disable their online service of gift cards, which meant that everybody that they had encouraged to load gift cards onto their apps could no longer use their gift cards on their apps because they disabled it for a long ass time. So like people had been buying gift cards, using gift cards, and then suddenly lost access to it. So this this client did some real stupid shit. Um which made it particularly rich when, you know, we have one non-critical defect escape into production and they're like, well, guess it's time to get a new quality person. It's like, my man, like, deal, what, is, well what is wrong with you guys? Hiding, I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange. Oh yeah, it was it was insanity. First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. Um But yeah, there was some other goofy stuff on that. So like uh it really was a testament to what happens when you find the lowest bidder to make your code. Because it was always it always cracked me up that we had to uh, intentionally misspell some stuff when we were interacting with the API because the API endpoints were spelled wrong. Um, in, like, little ways, but, like... If you were trying to reach out, I don't know if this one is actually one of them, but it sticks out in my mind. So we'll we'll assume it's like this sort of thing. If you wanted to get the nutrition information, so you maybe you're hitting the endpoints of like something something slash calories instead of something something slash calories, you'd have to actually hit something something slash carloes because like they just had misspellings in the API and it, they just like left it there because they didn't want to pay to fix it so it's just like that sort of stupid shit client was ridiculous um but yeah, whitney i have played mancala i think mancala is the one with the board with like uh the two wells on the side and like i don't know maybe it's like six six little cups on either side and you play you put the stones in and you you drop you pick up all the stones and you drop it one at a time like around and you're trying to get the most in your your side well right I, I think that's Mancala. I've played Mancala a few times. I think I have a, a set of it around the house somewhere. <clears throat> it's not my favorite game. Well, and actually, you know, similar to chess, one of the reasons that I haven't been that big into it uh, was that I'm not huge into, uh, like, PvP, especially 1v1 style games. I just really much prefer co-op stuff, so I, I never played it too much, but I did a couple times. No, 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 Kappa. This was, this was like my first client at my current company. I, th this was like nah, nine years ago. No, no, my, my current client loves me a lot. Um, and what Actually, what Cap is referring to is I just got an email today at work, which was very cool, letting me know that, oh, well, I'll be damned. We can just, we can just wander out here now. Uh, letting me know that I apparently was getting, like, a, a customer delight award, which comes with 250 bucks tossed on to my next paycheck because of the fact that I got... Uh, unsolicited positive feedback from my client. So, like, they were, they just, they just reached out to, like, one of the other team member leads on my team and were like, boy, that Poe guy, he's doing a great freaking job. We love him. And so, for that, they, my company is like, here's 250 bucks. Thanks for being, like, good at your job. <laughs> I was like, neat.
All right, well. <clears throat> that's that's nice. That's a great shortcut. Yeah, so that was exciting. I have already I have already ordered things to use up my 250 bucks. I ordered new keyboard. Is it, it's just one of those times where I'm like, you know what? I want a new keyboard. Mostly because I realized that it would really help my my layout and the where I have to put my hands. If rather than a full size keyboard like I normally use, if I actually got a 10 keyless and then a separate uh, numpad, because I use the numpad but I don't need it. I don't use it so often that I need it to be attached to the rest of the keys. So I'm gonna. I'm getting a tin keyless so that I can bring my my other peripherals that sit on either side of my keyboard closer together. And then I can just move my numpad off to the side elsewhere. Um, for when I actually need it. So I've ordered that already. I'd been I'd been thinking about doing that for a while, but I was like, I mean, I have a perfectly functional keyboard. I don't need to do that. And so getting getting a nice little bonus of 250 bucks, I'm like, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> Twist my arm. I'll do it. Cato implantation notes. Ah, we remember this. Subject 174, Mihai M. Characteristics 21 male, silversmith. Scars from pneumonia. Results, low affinity. Keto failed to grow. Body transformation, drop in cognition, another lichen sent to pasture. Subject 177, Bernadette B. Characteristics 21 female, no occupation, no history of illness. Results, death. Alcina D. Characteristics 44, female, noble, descendant. Not from the village, hereditary blood disease. Results, very high affinity, no loss of cognition, arbitrarily able to control body transformation, applied cognition control procedure sent for observation. This is Lady Dimitresk, I bet. <clears throat> ah, you want to get some pretty keycaps. I see, I see. Yeah, I I was like when I was shopping for a keyboard, I didn't go crazy on the the keyboard itself just cuz I was like I don't actually like care that much about my keyboard. Cuz like I had an option to get one that's like fully customizable or you can like swap not only the keycaps but like the switches and I was like I mean maybe but I was like will I actually do that or will I just get to the point where I'm like I want a whole new keyboard because I was like I feel like I feel like I'll just do that so I I curbed my enthusiasm to purchase a relatively less expensive keyboard than I usually do Which I was proud of myself. Well, yeah, because, like, that's that's the thing. I, I just have to beat down my urges to have, like, the fanciest shit just because I like having the fanciest shit. And then, because I, I almost did that. I almost... I almost caved, and I was like, well, uh, maybe I could get the one with the really fancy custom switches and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I mean, maybe, man. And I was like, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. I was almost the, the SpongeBob meme where he's, he's hanging out in the air, gasping for water. It's almost me. Oh, you know what? Before I use a bunch of crafting, I ought to just go buy out um, Duke of all his ammo. Since I'm so flush with cash. Where 
where's Duke exactly? He's over here. Assuming he's still there. Oh, wait. I'm gonna go around this way. <clears throat> yeah, so in, in other sort of interesting happenings of sort of planning out potential future content. I had a pretty good idea because I was I was thinking about my story times. Um and one of the things that I had kind of wanted to try to see if I can make happen is actually recording a uh choose your own adventure style video that would have like choices throughout it then then like have provided links to jump to different places in the video at all sorts of weapons modifications. <laughs> did i found find a drawing of duke as a disco ball i did not i can't say i spent much time looking oh man am i not gonna have enough fish to make this since i know i missed a couple in uh in the actual Lady Dimitrescu's place, and I, I wonder if I've lost the opportunity to get all those. Oh, well. Um, so I was, I was thinking about making a, like, a choose-your-own-adventure story time. Realizing, though, that, like, it would be very, very difficult and a whole lot of work. And I don't love a whole lot of work. Damn, that's expensive. Um, and so, maybe more interestingly... While I was thinking about that, I kind of thought that a good deal. it might actually be so, more said. applicable. Oh. If I tried to do that as a um As an actual live stream? Because I know we had discussed at one point in time about how can we do some kind of... Oh, I see. It combined all three of them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, how we could do some kind of, like, role-playing game with chat. And I was thinking about how that would be pretty difficult as well, because, you know, needing to do dice rolls or, you know, whatever that sort of... Um, sort of challenge resolution, if you will, involved in a typical role-playing game. Um, yeah, but then I, I sort of thought that it might be a better application to do a more straightforward style of collaborative storytelling where we could do... <clears throat> Chill out, Kappa. I've got, I'm, I'm explaining. I think it would probably be more straightforward rather than doing anything actual Dungeons and Dragons or anything, but rather just straight collaborative storytelling where it would be like doing a choose your own adventure where I could narrate for a little bit on, um, you know, like the a story time, do it like story time style do some degree of narration and then reach a decision point and provide, you know, two, maybe three choices, depending on the circumstances. And then chat could either do a poll. I expect actually we, we don't usually have enough people that a poll would be necessary, but like I could set, I would think, I think I would like set up rules. So it's like every decision has 30 seconds to like kind of form a consensus amongst chat or people could just, chime in and be like oh choice a versus choice b and I, I could just count because there's usually like you know three to ten of you <laughs> like that's that's easy enough i don't need a plug-in i just need people to be like this one um and then that would dictate you know the the next portion of narration and then you know we'd keep going and then you know we'd we'd reach another decision point and so it, it would be sort of like a hybrid uh, story time sort of adventure thing. Uh, so I, I think that's probably something that I'm going to do. Um, cause I, I think it has some potential to be pretty, pretty interesting. 
Um, it's got a lot of setup that I'd have to do still. Um, I would definitely run instead of, I normally run low latency. I'd run very low latency on, on streams to try to thin down how much time. Yes, yes, Kappa, we can do that game sometime as well. Um. Interesting selection. Uh, so the, 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 one of the issues with that is I am, I'm going to have to wait to do that until a time that I can be relatively assured of several chat members ability to come to that stream because playing games, right? Uh, playing games is easy, even if nobody ends up in, I saw you in chat, one. right? I can just talk to myself, play the game, have a good time everything is fine. If I'm aiming to do a choose your own adventure sort of narration with chat, I will need to be a little bit more sure that I will have a couple people. Um, and so I will have to actually like plan that as a time to do that and I'll have to be, you know, goods is more in a in a place where I know some Patronage. sufficient subset of people, probably like 3, will be able to make it. Like that would be ideal. Whether that means I have to wait until I have a few more regulars, so just like randomly I can be relatively confident that a few people will come or I will simply need to um like actually ask people's availability and be sure, you know, like, hey, can people make it to this stream? You know, it's it's a big deal that people are there, so let's try to, you know, all coordinate and do something. So that's that's the only sort of caveat to that plan. Um, well, in, in aid of that, another thing is that I've been working on recently has been actually getting the uh discord server in a place where it is usable and the regulars can start um rolling in to be part of the discord which that reminds me actually i wanted to check did the announcement sure didn't hmm well, and this is why the server is not yet open. I need to make sure. Well, yeah, but I, I should have gotten an announcement from one of the bots notifying that uh, the stream went live. Yeah, the one in Stella's there. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Hold on. I see why. I see why. Hold on. As always, please pardon me while I do <clears throat> on-air troubleshooting, uh, everyone's favorite segment. I see. I had set up the alert, but I had failed to link the actual YouTube channel, ad channel. That's the one. Save. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, now that ought to work in future, so we can we can test that out. Ah! Whoa! 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 Stop shooting, you dumbass! Why would Why would you do that? You wasted bullets. I wasn't clicking a button. You need to relax. Um. Let's make a few more of these. 
I don't have any more healing items that I can craft. That's distressing. Apparently, Ethan also is excited about the Discord server. Wait, where am I going at the moment, actually? Oh, wait. I guess I'm coming back here. I kind of glossed over the fact that I have all four of the rose parts because I didn't actually fight Heisenberg. So it's like, well, well, I gotta find Heisenberg. No, 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 I've already got the bit. So I gotta go over here to the, the altar, or whatever. Oh, hey, I never noticed that guy. Oop. Give me that. Neat. Put in the flasks. Whoa. What was that? Well, that's a upsetting memory. Flasks. Put in the head flask. Look, look at my adorable baby. The giant's chalice. That was that was huge. <laughs> I'm just gonna carry that around. Sure, it'll be fine. If it's just looking. Window shop away. You got any any changes now that I did that? Nope. Finished? Are you sure you have everything? I have not yet sent out any of the invites. Um what I will likely soon do once I know that it's working like I want, I will likely post it into a YouTube post. So that everybody can potentially join. Once folks join, though, I will still be restrictive in who, uh, who gets, like, full access. I will, I will be manually handing out. It's locked. What's, oh, Louise's key. Well, no, I, I think I have, I have loosened what I considered my restrictions towards at least basic access to the server. Um, largely because we've gotten talking about like, oh, some suggestions, here's some ideas, I have some links that might be useful, stuff like that. And so because, you know, I don't have a Discord server, I have no way of reliably like allowing people to send me those sorts of details and so because of that it's kind of bothersome what's going on and so i think it's it will be a little more lax in the sense that essentially people that have proven themselves by coming to stream talking you know being present proving themselves not to be dumbasses that sort of thing will be essentially what gets to the point where I'm like, yeah, that's fine. You can you can come in. Anybody else can join and then I, they will still have access to see like the going live notifications or any announcements I have if people care enough to do that, but it will still not be like a fully open server because I have that to me is like bizarro land. I don't want to. I don't want random ass people just appearing in my Discord server. No, no, no. That's that's. I am not interested.
It's an elevator. I know, right? I I do not have even remotely close to the patience to moderate a freaking Discord server. Like I just I just don't have the patience. Like why 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 do you think I'm so heartless on stream, you know? Weirdos show up and I just yeet them from the nearest window because I'm just like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't have the patience. You you are gone. Be gone from my life. And dis like an open Discord server where any old asshole can just wander in. Just get your ass across the bridge. No way, man. And I really won't be like tremendously active in my own Discord. I'm really, really bad being active in Discord servers. It's just, I, it's just like, it's just not really that kind of Discord server. Um, but you know, I see, I see the regulars here. Oh, come on in starting to chat amongst themselves during during streams and stuff and it's just like you know i mean at that point it seems reasonable to have a space for folks to congregate and chat amongst themselves if they so desire at the very least you know get announcements chat amongst each other provide suggestions a place to uh give me the references for the fan bits yada 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 something like that Nothing crazy, just a place to get in contact. Somewhere I can put announcements that, you know, I know the regulars will get, because I don't, I honestly don't know how effective the, um, posts for YouTube are. I think they do okay, but like, you know. I'm pretty close to the same way, Kappa, except I, I don't care about, I don't usually do the Minecraft posting. Honestly, the way, the way it works for me more so is when somebody, like, asks, uh, like, a tech-related troubleshooting question. I can't help myself. People ask questions or for help, and I'm like, have you tried turning it off and on again? I don't actually say that, but I usually have better better advice but that's i i can't help myself but be like oh this person is struggling with tech allow me to sidle in there i'm the same way on twitter actually i don't post very much or reply very much but suddenly somebody's like how do i get this thing to work i'm like well <laughs> can't can't not help Yeah, Kappa, you never you never really got into Stardew Valley, did you? What am I looking for here? Oh. To move this. Ba da da. Hell. Mia. Truth hurts, don't you? <laughs> Let me guess. Your thing. Take me out like the others, and then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I'm healing my Interesting. daughter. Look, you, you, you got this all wrong. It's a little Shut your fucking hole! Oh, that's right. I remember I've seen this Sorry. section. I remember. Take a seat. Listen. Ethan, you're being like building. What are you talking about? Big part of probably you why you liked uh, Animal Crossing more. I said shit. It's like I didn't like Animal Crossing because there was no way to like skip a day, and there was only Lady, so much you could do bitch. early on. Ugly, a psycho doll, an emeronic freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, right? 
kill me, move up the chain, well, fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even around her, scared of her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! You and me, then. Together, we can go save Rogues, and then we can use her to grind Miranda into peace. Let's do it. I like Heisenberg. Is not a weapon. Fuck you. All right. Well, fine. Heisenberg's cool, though. Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. Your future. So I haven't I haven't commented on it yet, but I really need to. Because you know the whole cut off the hand, reattached it eventually thing? Um like, It also worked on the sleeve. Like How did you reattach the sleeve, my dude? I don't know. He's got the magic mushrooms. And the magic sauce that fixes everything. Well, it is so lazy, and I don't really get it, because, like, they, they could have just left that part of the sleeve off. Like, is it really that hard to instead of having a seam, just have that portion of the sleeve fall off permanently? Like, that would have been fine. No, nope, here we are. This, this is a freaking tetanus factory right here. This is how you get tetanus, just all the damn time. Infinity Tetris. Tetris? Tetanus. <laughs> Although it is stacked up a little bit like Tetris too, but no, mostly just tetanus. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Just back to the previous model, but also adding a seam. Yeah, he pretty much threw me away. That's about right. Hey, Sea Weaver, how's it going? <laughs> You're not here. That's fine. A lurk is also valid. Thanks for coming by. We need more ammo. Durable little bastards, aren't they? Okay. We need ammo real bad, in fact. Also, we're gonna make another one of these healing items. Okay, so we actually, we have... Um, all right, I think that's, that's the most efficient. We actually have a lot of shotgun shells is what we have a lot of. So we might have to be a little more generous on that front. I also have the Magnum, which I've been leaving in reserve. Ammo is rare for that, so don't want to go crazy. What a nice vista. I, I love a good area reveal like that. 
Those are some of my favorite stuff in games. A good, you know, step out of a, a door or something to just see something awesome. Mm, good stuff. Love it. Can't get enough of it. From Software has always been really good at that. Oh, I see. You're you're off doing your own stream. Well, have fun. I gotta get the ball for this. Hey, Duke, how's it going? How, how are you? Then, feel free to peruse. Hi, Duke. We got new stuff for the guns? Yeah, we do. I still got These money for days. Than one might think. Okay, great. That's fine there. Crank up the damage. This always can be done always damage. Uh, reload speed is more important than I had given it credit for, because there were several times where I was stuck reloading, and I wish I hadn't been. So we'll do a little bit of that there. Ooh, the Magnum is expensive. Expensive, expensive, expensive. Mmm, I'm gonna hold off I've gotten some on the Magnum. Stock. Ooh, extra baggage. I'm glad I held off. So yes, more that. space. Take your healing items. Buy up. I saw you eyeing that one. All the ammo he has available for me. He's got to got to top it up. Oh, a V61 custom. That must be another weapon that I will be obtaining. Increases ammo capacity for the Magnum SYG-12. W870, that's that's my shotgun, right? Please come again. It is. You wish to make a purchase? All right. We do want that gun stock. Yes, I get this. Yes. Oh, he's actually selling that other gun. It's right here. The SIG-12. Semi-automatic shotgun that's focused shot makes it powerful against single enemies. Customizable. Damn, that's a good shotgun. Hold on. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this. This shotgun is old and crusty and shitty. I could have sick-ass... Sig twelve. Oh well. See why you. Till next we meet. Well, and we do also just have more space. I probably could carry a second one. What am I gonna do with this meat? Oh good. I was just thinking. Meat cluttering up my inventory, time. probably stinking to high heaven. Are, are we not going to get any new recipes? Should I just sell any of my leftover stuff? You know what? We're going to do it. We're, we're committed. Also, I just have more stuff to sell. Now to spend yes. like kings. <laughs> All right. Till next we meet. There. Look at all this space we have. We can carry a second shotgun. No problem. No problem at all. I do have to get the money for it, though. are sturdy jerk. You dead? Yeah, you are. 
Well, being able to hit multiple enemies is pretty nice. You know, one of the interesting things about this game is the sort of breadth of loca locales that you go through. So we, you know, we had a medieval castle, and now we're just in an industrial warehouse sort of feel. Just quite, quite the range. Fantasy lands, though. Okay, we need we need a mold casting machine. We don't have a map yet, I assume. Block from the other side. Well, fine then. I don't actually know what. Whoopsies. Sir, you are invading my personal space. Jesus. Stupid jerk. Stumbled out of the way of that shot. Die, you bastard. Well, at least it seems like they've picked up on... Uh, how much stuff enemies drop. Like, every single one of them is dropping something. Generally gets me enough things to work with. Not enough power. All right, then. All right, then. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Certainly nothing of interest here. <laughs> Perfectly spotlit. Oh, he seems fine. We got it. ah, the mold. You think? There we go. Are you not dead? You're not dead. You just staggered? My man! My man's is durable. Hello? There we go. with the crystals. Still not enough power, huh? Well, fine. Okay, so we now have a mold for something. What are we molding? It's it made out of? Looks like it might have been aluminum. Oh, maybe it's that. A horsey. <laughs> Seems useful. No, not a crank, you dumbass. The leap of a horse. <laughs> Why is a relief of the horse a key of some kind? Who can say? Maybe Heisenberg really just likes horses. He's really not gonna... Oh, that's it! I wanted ammo, you bastards! 
He's really not gonna uh, ward off the cowboy uh, accusations if he makes all of his door keys shaped like horses. He's freaking a magnet cowboy. Nothing, nothing you can say to change our mind. You're not dead. Now you're dead. <laughs> Another horsey door. Locked by a horse key. He just he loves horses. Clearly. Is that a permanent disablement or only momentary? Can I, can I leave that one going to be bludgeon the zombies? Wow, you snuck right on past that somehow. Oh shit, here we go again. Boy, it's a good thing I stopped, stocked up on ammo because I'm really cranking through it. Durable bastards. Oh, look. An explosive round. How's that? Hello? I... I don't... I don't know. I don't know why I'm not hitting it. It seems like I should be hitting it. No, I got shit in the way. Oh, wait. Maybe this is a better angle. Jerk. Just gotta get the right tool for the job. Alright, well, speaking of tools for the job, we're running out of ammo. Okay, cut that shit out. I suppose I probably could have gotten through that with proper timing, but you know what? We're just gonna make it convenient for ourselves. The use of ammunition. I'm sure none of these will come to life to try to kill me. Hey. Is there... There's not. Okay, so that's breakable in some capacity. Backup generator. It's missing a cog. We need a cog in the machine. Oh, gunpowder. I like gunpowder. 
make bullets out of the gunpowder. A map. I love maps. They're so helpful. <clears throat> ah, mechanical soldier sold at version 1.0. Fully grown male corpse used. Removed heart and implanted cato. Muscle stimulation via electric shock was successful. Brain dead, so high, so no high cognitive ability. Only moves by destructive instinct, then stops. Version 1.01. Attached headgear to the cranium. Electrodes confirm stable brainwaves. Experiment 1. Lichen fight. Was dismantled and eaten within three minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. 1.10. Replaced lower part of arm with drill. Not enough output for effective movement. Need live bodies, perhaps? 1.15. Planted cato reactor into the chest. Output greatly increased. Experiment 2. Lichen fight. Destroyed three lichens in one minute. Good results, but issues with reactor durability. May stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna destroy the shit out of their reactors. Ah, well, good. Well, I can't imagine any of these coming to life. It's the same run. Yep. There you are. I don't suppose you could, like, plow through this wall, could you? You, like... Woo! All right, well, that's as, as good a chance as I'm going to get. So I don't think... I think I got to explode it. Oops. I missed! <laughs> I was doing so well. Damn, that takes some heavy ammunition consumption to get through. Got there in the end, though. We're just gonna toss you at the wall. Oh, yeah. Shotgun round. A cylinder. What could this be for? Ah, there's color. <laughs> I was like, I see the color. Did this color not get redeemed? It did. There we are. I feel like this is... This is like the Easter version of my normal colors. Just a little bit, a little less vibrant. Pretty, pretty close to the same family. <laughs> Very 90s TV show. Yeah, that's fair. The cog molds are very, like, uh, chest open -y when they pop open. I couldn't help but think of the Zelda theme. Yeah, crank up that power! Ah. Oh, well, I don't... I don't love that. Such a disappointment. You mean a disappointment? I thought we could join forces against that oh. bitch Moran. Oh, you know what? Hold on, let me. You know what I have more of than like anything else? Freaking, freaking grenades! What kind of rounds am I using? Explosive versus flashbang? Okay, I'm using explosives. Oh God! To be her children. She locked us away in the of being forced to serve her. You good? Ow. 
Wow. What a face-off. <laughs> I can't can't believe I killed him with that shot, actually. I'm not like my siblings. I want nothing more than to be free of that bitch. So I need power. I need enough power to destroy her. Plenty of these big boys these running around. Are the fruits of my power. Alright, hold that thought. I'll get back to you. I'm really low on scrap. It's a bit of a problem. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. You should have never refused me, Ethan. What a freak. <laughs> what a freak. Alright, hopefully this this is gonna get me back up. There were a couple places that needed power, and now I got power. I want all the goodies. You're just gonna ignore me if I don't get in your way. That seems that seems fine. This lock? It it's not locked somehow. I assumed it was gonna be locked. Wow, damn, they are they are just shoveling sniper rifle rounds into my open mouth. I'm not going to complain too much. Been, oh, no. He sees me. He can go through the wall. Woo! Ah, my giblets. He can go through my skin. Excuse me, coming through. Mine? <laughs> Don't mind if I do! You done? <laughs> he lost interest? I shot him, he's like, ah, oh, wait a second. I didn't sign up for, like, pain and shit. I am so out of here. I assume... Yep. <laughs> I... That is what I assumed. Hold on, gang. Hey, there's a little bit of scrap. That helps. Okay, so it doesn't appear that there's actually a door in here. These guys... Oh, hey, Cheddar, how's it going? So these guys will go through those sort of fence-style walls. Can I... Whoa, you're closer than I thought you were. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can I, can I entice you into breaking this wall for me, my good man? Come on. Come on. Keep flailing. You're doing great. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't leash. Sir, sir, sir. Come on now. Sir, 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 sir. You have a job to do. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't give up. Don't give up. Sir. Come on. Come on. Flail a little bit more. Just this way. This way, sir? 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 I'd like to borrow your big manly muscles over here for a second. I got a fence that needs removed. Sir? Sir? My good man, either you are going to open this door for me, or I'm going to kill you by knife cuts. Which would be real funny. With my shitty little pocket knife. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sir? Come on. Yeah? Flail? No? Come on. Come on. Yep, you're doing great. Keep going. No, don't turn around. Damn you. Woo, 
I got close. All right, this is just because you've annoyed me now, my good man. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. No. Can you? Bro, I'm at least getting your loot. I've spent too much time and ammunition on you. Can you show me, show me that core again? Oh, now you make it all the way over here? Unbelievable. Aye! Ooh, homemade pasta. Nice. It was, it was not very good. Pasta's hard. There's no way around it. Pasta's hard to make. Especially if you don't have the right equipment. I don't know if you have the right equipment. But it's very hard if you don't have the right equipment. Oh, the wrong flower. Yeah. You know what? It's probably not even that important I get in there. Now that I look. At least it seems like it was a good learning experience. We, we have tried to make homemade pasta a couple times, and I don't think it's ever really worked out for us either. We don't, we don't have an actual, like, pasta press or cutter or, like, any kind of a attachment to, to help make the pasta even. So, I mean, even whenever we've tried, it's, it's always a pretty ridiculous mess, no matter, no matter what. They're all lumpy and misshapen and different sizes. It's a whole thing. No consistency whatsoever. Rolling pin and a knife. Yeah, buddy. That's the way. Really? Really? Pipe bomb won't do it? How incredibly rude. Yeah, that we've definitely been there in the pasta front, so. Good job with the attempt, at the very least. Okay, where, where am I actually trying to get to right now? Well, certainly not here. Actually, sure where we're trying to get to right now. Oh, well, we're certainly not going back this way. I didn't realize we were totally closed in here. Okay, well, I will try harder to find a way out then. Sure are. Providing me with a great many mines, though. This place is littered with them. Are you just supposed to, like... Take this guy out? Do I need to kill everyone ever? Oh. Another door to open. You gotta move the arm to attack. I'm gonna shoot you in that heart every damn time. Dumbass. <clears throat> little gunpowder. A little water. Canned flour? What the heck is canned flour?
Yeah, the, the thinness is really a big part of it. Because um, I feel like with homemade pasta um, being fresh, it's really susceptible to changes in sort of the, the boiling time as you cook it. And so if you've got, you know, different lumpier sizes or whatever, you can really end up uh, kind of like overcooking the outsides, but never really getting to the insides of it all that well. It just, you know, it's one of those things. Well, these stairs is probably what I was looking for, but somehow missed. <laughs> like canned bread from Spongebob. I mean, you know, I, I believe you. I just never seen canned flour. Here, I got you this landmine. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can get you to drill through this. Could you... Could you crack open this fence for me? Oh, I see. Yay! You've got it on your back. Oh, well, that was not actually that difficult. You're not gonna come to life, are you? You better not. Money, 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 money. Magnum ammo. <laughs> Not good flower, but it's what you got. You know, hey. You work with what you got. I've been there. Stupid doors that take all my ammo to open up. Yeah, freaking jerks. I don't even have any stuff to make ammo. What's the other thing that wanted me to use power for? What was it? Casting machine. Switch there. Is that it? Maybe that's it. Oh, hey. Some boxes that I apparently never opened up. I'll be damned. Cash money. More cash money. Casting machine. Hey, no worries, Cheddar. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi, at least. <laughs> Good luck on your future pasta endeavors. I hope it comes out better next time. I hope you try again, really. Give it another go. Every time will be better than the last, I'm sure. Ay! Ooh, that was a lot of ammo. Thank you, thank you. Uh... Here. I got you. <laughs> Jay Choi! <laughs> oh, he's still... He's still coming. I missed. I missed again. I've been doing so well, too. Damn, you guys don't care that much about the mines. There we go. What are you hiding in here? What have you got for me? 
A wolfsbane long barrel. Medical log. Oh. Revitalization a surgery. Voice log. I don't even. I don't even think I knew that was a thing. What does this do? Increase firepower. I love that for me. Hell yeah. This is my 18th attempt. The subject is Oscar the Stable Boy, 20 years old. Oscar the he Stable fell down the well while drunk. Body is in good condition. <laughs> Oscar had a bad day. Chest incision complete. Now to remove the heart and vital organs and implant the control device. Heisenberg, you're kind of freaky. Cadeau has begun adhering Cadeau. to the nervous system. That's how they say it. It's progressing even faster than before. It seems upping the ratio of meta-albumin in the artificial blood was the right choice. Now to pass a current through the brain stem using 6,600 volts. It's a very specific oh, number of volts. It has to work this time. Yes! Ha 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 ha! Wonderful! My creation! At last! I'll get that bitch yet. Ha 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 ha! Ending recording. <laughs> how, how very official. He, he says something at the end of recording. And just turning it off. Right, great. That was that was very valuable. I'm glad I went back for that. Oh, right, I won't be able to see the damage on that until I go back to Duke. Uh, it's this way. Excellent. I need. Well, I mean, straight shotgun ammo is always good. I need more um, rusty scrap. Hey, priestess. Welcome, welcome. 47. Closing in. Oh, shit. You're the big one. I gotta get behind you. I feel like those are actually easier. Ah, return from Metal Club. How is Metal Club? You're dozing off at the computer. Or, I guess, you could be on mobile. I don't know. Probably time for bed. Well, thanks for coming, regardless. I hope you have a good rest. Good lord. You again? Oh, I was, I was about to ask. I'm glad you clarified that because I was just about to ask. Like, do you mean the band was named under our label, or it was a you had a label? That's awesome. Good night, Whitney. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. That's super cool. So what is your label sort of, I guess, accomplish? Like, tell I've tell me about services, what goes Come into, you know, having a label and how that how that sort of plays out. 
Securing goods is more important. Oh, it's his father? Oh boy, that's uh Well, that's something. Oh, I have a shit ton of these. Not merely one like everything else. Oh, it's combinable. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. Okay, do I want to spend the money on the SIG? This is all an investment. Oh, yeah, sure. No, no worries, Priestess. Oh, I didn't take the opportunity to increase the damage on my sniper rifle. What a dumbass I have been. Leave this to me. One moment, please. All right, you know what? I'm actually not going to buy the SIG. I've already invested in this shotgun. It's working out fine. I'd rather just invest more money into my other firearms. What's the damage on this now? Oh, it's not a huge increase from that barrel. But I should invest. I'll invest a little bit more. Max deeps. Max deeps. Thanks, Duke. I'm having a wonderful adventure. Got a long way to go. God, this is such a cool place. This is this really is the best, like the most interesting thing to look at in this whole game, I think. Although I can't help but notice this wheel is just clipping through metal. They didn't they didn't bother to give it somewhere to actually live. It's just it's just. Pressing those guys like hamburger through uh, a grating. Just mashing them out. Gnarly. Boy, this is some, some precarious terrain to cross over. I would not be terribly comfortable getting that close to that edge. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. <clears throat> oh, she doesn't care for us? No. She's long lost all her humanity. When did I become a therapist for Heisenberg? How did that happen? I don't give a shit about your family drama. God, you guys are durable. Thanks for the scrap, though. At least I can turn that into ammo. That's how you do it. One pistol, one rifle. That apparently gets the job done. Peak efficiency. Where are you walking? You shuffly bastard. There we go. Alright, I like that. That's that's becoming a good plan. We just pop off the little visor helmet thing. And we just put a rifle around through their eyes. That's that's doing the trick. That way I don't have to leave them to get close enough to use the shotgun. Rifle. Rifle, you are my wifle. The old rifle wife. I 
I do usually end up going sniper in recent years whenever I end up playing an FPS. Especially co-op. If I'm doing a co-op, like, I always end up in the back line. Really, it, it kind of feels like the, the FPS version of the wizard, which also makes sense because if I'm playing other fantasy style games, I also usually end up being the magic user, so it all, honestly, it kind of, it kind of tracks. It goes together. Wow, that doesn't feel like it would hold up. Okay, yeah, we're shooting those. Shouldn't be a surprise, but... God, the, the danger debris of being here. Oh, you'd get just cut up so bad just by tiny shrapnels. You'd have so much metal shit in your eyes. It'd be terrible. Oh, so many rifle rounds. Oh, you guys are the best. You're so kind to me. You can, you can even just hear it clattering to the floor. Another one? Okay, hold on. You guys, you guys are getting more and more excessive here. Here you go. I got this for you. You got so much metal on your head. Oh, shoot. There's another one. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hold on. We've found ourselves in a bad spot. This is a dead end. This is bad. This is bad. We gotta, we gotta extricate ourselves from a dicey situation. Well, consider, consider us extricated. <laughs> Put myself in a bad spot there. You know, I'm really glad that I had just stockpiled these ammo for uh, the grenade launcher and just not used it. Now that we're getting into some real pinches, it's coming in real handy to just have more grenades than I could ever need. Really gets me out of some tight spots. Okay, well, that is certainly not chill. D red hot flaming fan is really not the plan I had in mind, but I guess it's it's worked out. Damn, those are some blades. I mean, as sharp as they appear. I don't, I don't know if that's gonna work to blinder up a bunch of metal falling through. Also, where's all the metal that was falling through? What was getting chopped up? I don't understand how this place works. Just making shit up. What, what, what is the point of this room? Hey, another map. Also, Soldat Enhancement, Soldat Jet. Attached to jet pack and head stabilizers to a Soldat. Greatly improves mobility. Experiments prove limited flight capabilities. No long distance flight, but now possible to navigate rugged terrain. Soldat Enhancement, Soldat Panzer. Attached aluminum alloy shielding to a Soldat to protect chest reactor and exposed flesh. Experimentation proves he is invincible against regular firearms. Armor doesn't hold up against strong blasts. Further development needed. Okay, explosives it is. Good thing I got those grenades. Well, apparently we're trying to get over there. Oh. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay. Just push that out of the way and just wander our way around the corner. 
through the vents like a solid snake. Great. Ooh, handgun ammo. Love it. A oh, a ball mold. I see. We've got to make our own ball for the, uh, the little ball game labyrinth guy. Which I know I saw, but I don't remember where I saw it. I'm all loaded up here. We are. Windy. Ah. <laughs> I was like, boy, they didn't really give me a chance to not have that happen, did they? Because I, I had to shoot him. That makes sense. Shit. That was close. Oh, look, they're hiding a little goodie here for me. Thanks. Oh, looky. Look at all these goodies. Get it, get it, get it. Really? Oh, there we go. It's like, you're gonna make me use a bullet when it's right there. Neat. Hopefully there's a way back to into the front, the, um, uh, warehouse factory. That's the word I was searching for. The factory proper, because I still want to get back to that ball puzzle, but not exactly sure how to get back there. Boy, I'm glad this rusty wheel works. This probably gets me back in. Oh, I can't go back. Well, I hope I didn't miss anything. I guess it is green, implying that I did, in fact, not miss anything. Button. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. If that That's happens, pretty rude. it's all over for your kid and for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor I would rather Papa. you didn't. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Shotgun shells. Take Rose? Huh. I'd like to see you try. Point. Cash money. A more different mold. Molds for days. Well, I guess that is a theme of the game, isn't it? Lots of mold. Is it mold? Fungus? Ah, eh, whatever. Close enough. There's more? There's always more, Ethan. Where is... I see sparkly. I'll get over there to that sparkly. Oh, I probably go down that. Okay, okay. I see, I see. I'll just pull this lever. <laughs> well, good job beating up the kids. I'm sure they deserved it. I mean, by the very virtue of being kids, they deserved it. <clears throat> also, by the by way of your streaming, I assume you're you're feeling a little better. No, you've been under the weather. up and around we go again. Welcome. Selling more junk. Oh, 
Hey, that's good. Glad you hear you're feeling better. Because being sick sucks. And by it I will. Oh, you have another gun, actually. You're selling this V61. And the SIG-12. Yeah, I don't think I care enough, my dude. Machine pistol. It is higher power, but I don't have that much money. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and will do them for a small fee. Uh, do I want to? A lot of money. Eh, it's fine. I'll hold off for now. Good. Okay, so we gotta we gotta go down to. In the four, it looks like that's where the foundry is. Yes. But also, where is? I know I saw the ball puzzle. Where was it? The day then. Well, Oh, right. Also, I should freaking save. That would probably help. It's freaking been a bit. Nope, this is not the right location. That's the one we want. Wait, it's right here, isn't it? It is right here. Okay, excellent. Oh, okay, but this is actually not... Uh... It's dark. Thank you, Ethan, for letting me know that it's dark. I couldn't tell with my eyeballs. Doesn't feel like the correct place, or does it? Why is it so dark? Wait a second. Why? Why are there bad guys here now? What the devil? I've definitely been here before. What happened to this area? Oh, this is definitely the right place, though. Hold on. I hear you. Short on ammo again. Alright, we got a key mold. It's great that we can just make whatever the hell we want down here. Well, I mean, as long as we've got a mold. That blood or oil? Kind of seems like it's a little bit of the same stuff down here. <laughs> blood and oil, it's all the same. Ball. Okay, we got Heisenberg quarters over here. One of the places this key can be used. The other one, I think, is up above. 
Oh, my health is actually a little bit low. Might as well heal up. Yes, a twofer. That's what I wanted. Oh, that was a bad shot. not it something else oh i don't know maybe it's this giant ass box right here a mechanical part Let's see combine make it happen it's a hammer All right, can i look at you is there anything in here useful And hammer made from machine parts. It's too heavy to use. How incredibly rude. Come on, Ethan, bulk up. I want to hit people with a giant hammer. Instead of this stupid ass tiny knife. It's an embarrassment, Ethan. There were many places in this game where at the very least you could have obtained a sword. Several little areas here that are still red. It must have some kind of item to be picked up. I wonder if that's worthwhile poking about in a little bit. I didn't understand shit. <laughs> I don't I don't know where you're going with that, Sea Weaver. I do appreciate you leaving comments, though, because, you know, every comment helps or whatever. But seriously. That one was another reference. I forget exactly what it said. I did read it. It was a reference to another show, I feel like, of some kind. I don't remember which one. I recognized. I mean, yeah, engagement's good. I like engagement. Okay, now we got everything. Didn't open that drawer for the sniper rounds. I am still angry at YouTube for being really shitty at putting out my videos to places. It's very irritating. Here we go. <laughs> I got you that. I got you that. It is still better than Twitch. You are not wrong. Ooh, that was close. Although, it has been a little while. I've been struggling lately to get new folks in to see... Like, I haven't seen a whole lot of people stopping in, like, new to say hi on live streams, which has been a bit of a bummer. There's nothing much I can do about it, but... I, I felt like I had... I had more, like, success early on. Well, and, and honestly, I've seen a lot of people commenting. I've seen some general discourse um, on YouTube, sort of 
stating how um, it seems as though, like, at the beginning of this year, they they seem to have done some kind of a, an algorithm change, which most people find to be way shittier for, like, smaller YouTube channels. So very well could partially be related to that as well, where it's just, like... YouTube just be bad at things right now. But, you know, we just out here doing the stream thing. This appears to be a dead end. This place is very labyrinthine. It's very difficult to get around. Oh, hey. There's allegedly something else still in here. How, how could there possibly be something left in here? It's tiny. What did I miss? Oh, wait. I knew it. I was like, I bet it's something stuck up somewhere. It was. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's definitely part of it. But there's certainly an aspect of trying to sort of meet in the middle of, like, this is a game I like, but also is a game that has any degree of interest. Because that's, that's an important piece as well. One of the reasons I'm playing Resident Evil 8, because I wanted to. But also, it's a fairly popular game. I went in a circle. Went a big ass circle. I sure the hell did. Ah, Pokemon. Also a popular one. I just kind of don't like Pokemon enough. I enjoyed Pokemon well enough, but man, they gotta do something new to get my interest. Bro. Bro. Ah, unite. That's why you were you're beating on children. That makes sense. I never got into Pokemon Unite. I mean, part of which because I that's on Switch, and I don't really play very much Switch. Wow, I got a lot of shotgun shells. Time to use them. Owies. Yikes. Oh, it is on mobile and PC? I don't think I realized that. Even still. I'm not... I'm not, like, a huge fan of the MOBA genre in general. Now. I spent a lot of time playing League of Legends back in the day. And that was... That was fun at the time. I'm just not really that... inclined towards... PvP-style games... Back down we go. Push button.
Yeah, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Where's my ball? Iron horse ball. Get back down there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. We go crazy. No, no. You know what? That's fine. That works just fine. Uh-oh. 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 I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Am I doing it right? I'm not doing it right. I... Oh, I... I can rotate. I actually really had forgotten that I can rotate the camera on these. I... I was just blindly making an effort there, which is really not going to work out to my benefit. Okay. Alright, so let's, let's, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, now we can see, now we can see. No! No! This is like the first one that I've actually, you know, failed at all, really. I think I failed once on one of them. The first one that has a worthy challenge. I swear they put that one at the beginning just to annoy you. It's just... It's slow to get through, and every time you lose, you're like, oh, yeah, you're gonna freaking wait. You're gonna waste a little bit of time. No, 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 get your ass in there. Ugh. Damn you. Who the heck made that noise? What the heck? Just randomly throwing up. Get in there. No, don't overshoot, you dumbass. Oh, that's very annoying. I can't believe I did that transition, like, blind the first time. And then, for some reason, now I just can't, can't make it happen again. Ooh, and making me wait. Ooh, you're very annoying, game. That's, that's very rude. Okay, okay, come on, man, what the heck? What, what the heck? Uh, just get off the damn gear. You're killing me here. Okay. So what we're going to do is, I guess, stay at this angle, because for some reason that works better. It still works better for some freaking reason. That's remarkable. This is still kind of shitty. I This angle is still pretty shitty, actually. I can't... I, where are the... Mm. Bro, these camera angles are garbage. Okay, I can't actually turn all the way around, though. Okay. Other ones, I think, haven't let me go that far. All right. All right, we've learned something. We'll go all the way over. Fine, fine. Welcome back, Priestess. I'm I'm in mortal combat with a bastard puzzle right now. Just in an absolute fist fight with a marble ball game. No, that's fine. Nope, we're just gonna roll off again. Are you are you in top chat, Sea Weaver? And not not live chat? Yeah, the metal label. Ex presidents of the metal club. Oh, interesting. Okay, 
I see, I see. So. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. We're making it. Oh, well, c congratulations for being the president now. So is it like the the label just seeks out like local local bands and whatnot? Oh, oh, okay, 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 hold on. What are we working with? All right, we're just gonna sidle our way down. And well, you did mention that you don't know much about it. I, I wanna keep asking follow-up questions because I'm curious, but then but you literally said you don't know much about it. But I, I still likes to know. I can't help myself. Inquiring minds and all. <clears throat> but that's awesome. That's that's, that's really cool to have, you know, at least a small label hey, sort of no helping mind. bands get going, especially in in like a local scene. And it's cool that it came out of the like a the cup the club. That's that's pretty cool. I didn't do anything nearly that interesting in college. Good old Heisenberg's hammer. Ah! Yay, we have money again. More student bands locally. Oh, I see. Some of them are around there. That makes sense. Well, it's probably a useful avenue. Um, to connect, you know, the different locations. What did I do in college? Well, so honest, honestly, I had two very distinct time periods of my college life. So. For the first three years I was at college, I was at, at this one college. It was very small, small town, um, little private college, whatever. Uh, and I lived on that campus in a really, a dorm full of very cool people. Uh, it was, fraternities weren't allowed on that campus, but this was kind of like the closest to a fraternity that was there. So we lived in the oldest dorm, oldest building, actually, on the campus. And so it was kind of a shithole. <laughs> but, you know, a, a camaraderie was built out of everyone living together in a shithole. So, like, I had some really, really good times there. We did these um, mostly weekly uh, holidays for across campus like that's one of the reasons like this dorm was known for because like we as a group we were just fun we you know we were kind of the oddballs on campus the other uh male dorm was like the preps and jocks and losers and uh, i considered them losers the preps and jocks they didn't think they were losers but they were losers um duke are you okay Oh, you're having issues with your cigar, aren't you? Okay. Um, and so we were then the oddballs on campus. Just everybody that didn't fit in lived in this dorm. And so we had these weekly holidays, and we were known for it around campus. Uh, we were also known for being a bit problematic and troublemakers, did a lot of pranks and things. Um, but these holidays were stuff like one of the traditional ones was the first, they were always Wednesdays. The first Wednesday of every year, we did freeze tag day. So we, there was a, because it was sort of a fraternity, there was a little bit of a hierarchy. There was the, um, the, the top sort of organizing group of, of the, the dorm. And then there was everybody else. And so the organizing group, they were, uh, it for freeze tag. And then everybody who lived in this storm could be tagged and then frozen. And then you would, 
you could be unfrozen in typical freeze tag fashion of having somebody crawl through your legs but it didn't have to be somebody else from your from our dorm and so it was a, it was a way to like meet and greet people fresh on campus cuz we'd all be playing freeze tag between classes you'd get frozen you'd stand there you'd yell at some random passerby like hey hey you come help me get unfrozen i have class to get to so it was just a campus wide sort of fun event that we did and we had various ones we had like a pirates vs ninja day so some of the dorm would dress up as pirates some of the dorm would dress up as ninjas we'd be rowdy all uh all uh day long there's like william wallace appreciation day this that and the other it was a good time Honestly, my my time in that dorm is a a huge part of what I sort of at least I hope the vibe of my streams to be because living in that dorm, we had pretty much a an unspoken and spoken sort of like open door policy where if you had your door open, Anybody could just, like, wander in to see what you were doing, hang out, say hi, like, sit down, watch you play video games or whatever. And, like, 90% of the doors were always open unless people were sleeping. Like, that's just the, the vibe of the dorm. And so, in very similar fashion, that's what I hope for this stream to be. It's, like, it's me with my dorm room door open. Like, that's how I view what I do on stream. I'm just doing my thing but I have the door open so people who are interested can like stop by and be like, oh, hey, what are you playing in here? And then we can chat. Like that's what I want from my stream. Like that's the goal. And and, and so, yeah, so like that's what my my college life really like sort of impacted. The second part of my college life, I had left that college to go to a much better one to get a much better degree in computer engineering and when i was there i didn't live on campus because i was already married so we were renting a place near campus and blah 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 i was far less social in my second college that i went to i was just trying to get through college uh, my wife was like working at the time and i you know just trying to plow through i was that's the one where i i like i did a lot more classes like i had some summer classes I took a couple times is just to try to crank through because I had changed my major so heavily that I just had to like re go through a bunch of stuff. So I was like, okay, I've been in college too long now. It's time to get out of here. Man, you know, I can't. I guess that makes sense because it's into April, Priestess, but I like my my perspective on time and college timing now that i've been just in the normal workforce for so long i like i didn't even think about the fact that we are coming to the end of the school year in my mind in my mind i remember you just talking about starting school which actually is kind of now that i say that out loud is kind of like crazy for how long i've been streaming and like how long you've been a regular part of chat because like i remember talking about you going to campus and <laughs> like god damn like yeah i guess you're right summer's coming right on up you'll be wrapping up for the year but jesus christ i thought that like i remember you know like two weeks ago or whatever you'd go into college well shit all right, well, here we are, I guess. Uh, okay. Finals week is May 12th to 17th. <laughs> have all of them on Monday. Damn. Cranking it through. Prototype Sturm. He used a cheap turboprop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge. Too much power output from the reactor? Completely invincible head-on. But the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms off on the propeller. Also, issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion, a complete failure. Well, I hope finals go well. How are you feeling about your finals? How's the semester gone for you? Any class classes giving you a rough time? 
this is just this tiny offshoot. Or was it pretty, pretty typical, pretty, pretty breezy? I bet you do. I, I mean. Out of my way. Oh shit! He just freaking ran right at an angle. I didn't think he would. Oh, a mine. That's a good idea. This is a dead end. I don't want to be down here, actually, I realize. Nope, I gotta be quicker. Man, name name a more tropey video game boss than dude that charges directly at you, but also has a weak point on his back. I mean, come on now. I mean, bonus points, I guess, for being a hilarious turbo prop that cut his own arms off. That's pretty funny, but but also. Everyone ever has fought this fight. Probably more than like five times. Oh shit! Alright, well, I was a little unprepared for the giant fireball. So that that wasn't my favorite. Nope, no, no, no. Nope, fireball again. Woo, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Yes, my of course, the dude that jumps around with a weak spot on their butt. All both best friends, honestly. Uh what do I want to do? I wanted to craft another health guy. Uh and let's make a couple sniper rifle rounds. Did you not leave fire like everywhere? That'd be super. Oh, he's doing the fire. He's doing the fire. I'm getting a bit of a problem as there is now fire everywhere. Hot. suddenly not on fire anymore? How'd that happen? I mean, I guess I'm not complaining. Oh, he's on fire again. He's on fire again. Nope. Oh, maybe I, maybe I can try to get behind him while he's blowing fire. Nope. No, I cannot. Yes, I can. Take it back. Woo, he's right behind me. Right freaking behind me. Oh, shit. This is a dead end. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Hey, see you later, Priestess. Thanks for coming by. Dude. 
know what? I got mines. Here you go. I got this mine for you. Oh, Stay he's dead. I think he's dying. He's finally dying. Probably. Yep. Yoink. Well, that was spicy. He broke all the things. Any more ammo stashed around? Yes. Ooh, I got a lot of handgun ammo. I ought to be using more of that. A cigar! <laughs> what am I going to do with this? Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bound. Oh, hello, Lolo, Lolo Gamer. Welcome. I think that's Lolo. Am I am I reading that correctly? I think so, yes. Welcome. We are merely a bunch of failed Kado experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the poor, the other poor schmucks in the village, so she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body, she took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Megamycete. The trick is that, bre that brat Rose. If I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. Is this the side area? Yes. Extra herb, extra scrap, extra ammo. Love it. Fantastic. Oh, also you. Hwacha. Alrighty then. Did I get everything? I did. Good. Make sure everything is loaded up. Let me equip this guy, get that loaded real quick. Is there a save point? I guess there was a save point right here. I should go save. I just killed this guy. Wait. Maybe I can't actually get back out. I, I'm suddenly realizing I might be stuck in here forever. How did I get in here? Where's the door? There's the door. It's cool. We can get out. I don't want to have to redo that boss fight. Especially since we're at the added risk of, for no apparent reason, this game just freaking out and requiring me to alt F4. I don't love. This is not where I wanted to go. Hey, Phantom. How's it going? Yeah, cue game crash, right? It, just like... Uh, perfect timing I kind of I'm two and a half hours in I feel like I'm due I feel like I'm due for it but I mean honestly if I wanted to be like super responsible yeah baby that's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! If I was super responsible, I would just straight up restart the game now. Right now, I feel like I'm on borrowed time. Maybe I will once I get to the next save point. That isn't me backtracking. Maybe then I will. Just to be safe. There was another game I had to do that with. Yeah, I did. Well, actually, the the Moreau fight is one of 
few that has actually killed me. I got caught out without a roof when he was spewing acid everywhere at me. Yeah, it's just a manual crash. The thing I... I was actually just thinking about this as I continued to go through this section. Like, because the, the Heisenberg factory is, is much bigger, right? Like, it and the... Um, Castle Dimitrisk are the are the two big areas, right? And I was thinking about how it's kind of a shame that the the other two sections feel so much shorter, right? There's like so much less like time spent with Moreau or um, the doll girl that I don't even remember the name of. Like I feel like. I mean, Heisenberg and Dimitrescu are very interesting characters, but it's a shame the other two are so underdeveloped. There's so little time to be there and, you know... See, I don't think I'm going to get a chance. Yeah, I mean, Dolly. Is is that the name? Certainly is a Dolly. Oh, that's right, it's Angie. Yeah, Angie and Donna. It's just, it's kind of a shame, because they, they gave so much time to Heisenberg. Uh, that bastard. Hey, Kit. Why, thank you. Always good to see you stop in. Much appreciated. Tank. But I would have liked to have seen more about Angie and Donna. In game, specifically. Like, you get there, they're kind of crazy and try to kill you, and then you just kind of move on. Not nearly as, as interesting as Dimitrescu and Heisenberg. I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. Uh, just kind of talking about generally the characters in this care, game. Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? Um, and how, like, the she two... Dimitrescu and, and Heisenberg are sort of front and center as far as characters go, and the other two are just like, eh. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. <clears throat> Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Okay, here's a wrench. This is just gonna... That would be really funny if he just brained me with the wrench. He's like, hand me that wrench. Thomp. <laughs> like, ow. Okay, what? I'm just sitting Long here? What's going short, on? Oh, you're talking to me. Insane. Oh, thank In this you. Village, Very clear. All these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. It is mold. It's not fungus. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time. Damn you, Louisiana. Family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. <laughs> I love his random ass chainsaw I tank. I he just throws a phone. A Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go. Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. <laughs> you don't get it, Ethan. How, you don't stand how brave to allow some random <sighs> asshole to, to scroll through your phone's pictures. I wish, I kind of wish he'd scrolled past one ridiculous picture. Take that elevator. I'll meet you That'd be side. really funny. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight. Just like relevant, relevant, relevant picture of a dinner. Oh, I see. Here, here's Rose. 
All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. In a tank with chainsaws? There is no... Can't turn back now. There is no under the radar with a tank with chainsaws. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead. We're just going to go ahead and go ahead. Streamer brain. We're just going to... We're... We're out of here and we'll be... We'll just reload the game. I don't want it to, to choke on me at random. Does it actually help to restart the game? I don't know. Because I don't know the cause of why it does that. <laughs> Canonically send nudes. That's fantastic. Well, thanks for stopping by, Ket. Yeah, I don't know. Like, a memory leak, it I feels like a VRAM memory leak specifically, actually. I've had it happen on a couple different games, though, so I don't know if it's like a driver thing. I don't know. But we're going to try to prevent it. We're just going to dip out, come back, and hope that fixes things. Regardless, have a nice night, Kit. Have a good rest. I'll see you next time. All right. Tank, tank, tank. Tank, tank, tank. Well, I mean, of course I'm going to love it. They gave me a goddamn tank. It's a goofy-ass tank, Metal but it's a tank. Pause, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. <laughs> This is very exposed. We didn't think to like, I don't know, put some some shielding on the front, so I'm not just out here. We out here. Okay, so we've got infinite ammo. We've got a machine gun. Tank shell. Reload time. Oh, we can guard with a chainsaw? That's how we guard? You know, that's fine. That's fine. Sure. That's cool. Ha! Did I... Did my suggestion the other day suck you back into vampire? You needed that fix and you were like, you know what? That'll do. That's funny. Thank you. I cannot use the cannon while reloading. Imagine that. Hello, sir. This is this is the weirdest mono e mono fight I've ever seen in my life. All right, I see, I see red joints. We're gonna aim for the red, aim for the red. I didn't really get the red. Aim for the red. Oh, nice. Oh, you were replaying before that? That's funny. So, you know, one, this is a fun boss fight. There's no denying that. And broadly speaking, I'm actually kind of growing to appreciate the idea of a good gimmick boss fight quite a bit. I sort of really started thinking about it in uh, Elden Ring because there is the the dragon fight. Oh, I missed. Uh, with against Rykard, where you get the the gimmick weapon specifically for fighting him. And it's not the only gimmick fight that From Software has done. But I, I actually think there's a lot of value in breaking up sort of the, the straightforward... Monotony's not a fair word, but sort of the more straightforward nature of 
having boss fights where you're using, you know, your build and your plan to fight and and giving you you know the occasional or like every game should have one where it's like you fight it a specific way and the more bombastic the better so giving me a chainsaw tank is a great way to have a gimmick fight oh what are you doing over there stop that No, my tank! My tank! It's fine. No! My gonads! Not like this! My tank! My tank! I lost my tank! I miss my tank already. Oh, I can't actually see his weird face in there. Or a weird face in there. It's Right. Just give up. Oh, he didn't like that. Well, honestly, Titanfall, uh, Titanfall 2 at least. I don't know about Titanfall 1. I don't know if I ever played Titanfall 1. Uh, Titanfall 2 is kind of like entirely, uh, gimmick fight in a way because they keep giving you new mechs to fight in. It's one of the reasons why it's so good. Wait, grab your tank, man. Get the get the tank. Get the tank. Yeah, get the tank. Give me that sick ass tank. Yeah. It is such a good campaign. Neat. Ooh, Crystal Heisenberg. And now a phone call. Who calling me? <laughs> Hello, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. <laughs> Cursed Halo re nod. That's funny. Dangerous. I actually realized I hadn't replayed Halo Reach when I replayed all of the other ones. I should I should go back and play Reach. Mia? No, not Mia. He just warned you that freaking Mother Miranda can look like anybody. And mine to me. With Stupid. You've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Have you even been paying attention, sir? <laughs> Obviously. Enough. What a dumbass. Remember Evelyn and her power over the mold? Sure. Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true complete. I didn't play seven, so I, I don't remember everything that clearly. Control and I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Come I'll come back to your Elden Ring question, see where things are just exciting right now. I'll get back to you. <laughs> the Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. We have drama. However, she will be reborn as my. Whoa, no, I didn't mean to do that. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? 
Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Oh no, the hag. Are you also Miranda? I like the hag. Damn you. But I've learned all I can. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda, you coward. Come out and face me. Owie. Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. I need that. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. That's mine. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother. Bound. I'd like that back, please. Blood. <laughs> Gross. That's just rude. I've waited so long. <clears throat> But dreams Man. really can't. <laughs> F's in the chat for Ethan. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child again. That was his heart. That was the old blood pumper there. And yeah, seven and eight are amazing, Sea Weaver. Seven, I didn't play on stream. Because I've watched several people play it all the way through. I wasn't able to <laughs> that same thing. Heart brain. Yeah, you know. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda. But we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? I either forgot Since or did not, could have had not seen... Either. Somebody get the reveal that him and Rose with us. Mia had been Miranda for some time. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. So where was Mia at the when time? When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not going to get away with it. Dun dun dun. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. This all sucks, is what I'm saying. Three years too. Nobody's long. having fun. Except me. I'm having fun. None of them are having fun. They got shit to deal with. Why does it have a license plate? Do they think military vehicles need license plates? It literally had APC in the license plate number. Didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, it doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. That guy's gonna die. Everybody, everybody in a squad who's having too much fun always ends up to be the one that dies. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. Oh yeah. When was the last? Fancy guns. The desert. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know more. Is it? What is this? Couldn't quite believe it when I heard you turn yourself into a stun baton. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Silenced pistol of some kind. Oh, they're all silenced. I mean, they do, but like, the thing about license plates and plate numbers is that they're actually public record. So any kind of, I don't know, undercover secret paramilitary group, I feel like would simply not have a license plate because <laughs> you don't want to be easily identified in that situation and i'm not sure if they certainly wouldn't have a civilian looking license plate on uh, a military vehicle like that if it's if it's like straight military and not you know se yeah, super secret paramilitary they especially wouldn't have apc in 
in the freaking license plate number. It's goofy. Christ. Looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Oh, complete the village map. I did the thing. Map Matician. Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. It's more than we thought. Watch out. Mmm. Now that's a nice gun. As to your Elden Ring question, uh, Sea Weaver, I would, uh, I would be potentially up for some co-op Elden Ring. I do love me some Elden Ring. I'm a lot less interested in randomizer because I, I did try to do a randomizer stream once, and I played it a couple times. But there's the sort of uh, loss of natural progression that occurs in a randomizer is not as interesting as a as a counter offer um there is this big sort of rebalance mod that i can't remember the name of but i saw somebody uh playing through it in a video and most interestingly there's a lot more uh variance and difficulty in things that you can set up as well as like a raid mode which adds like additional complexity to boss fights which something like that could certainly be of interest. Although I think the full-on raid mode would be difficult with just two people. I don't know if there's more, but... Because I think it actually increases the co-op potential cap from, like, six to potentially, like, eight. And the, the highest difficulty, like, raid mode is intended to be played with, like, six to eight people because the shit is, like, crazy hard. Yikes. Reload, my man. Owie. Oh, you're not dead. I thought you were dead. Still need to reload, though. Do I even have heals? I do have grenades, though. I should use those grenades. Damn it! The path's blocked. No With fire. Tour around the village. <clears throat> hey, boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. I be in minute. Roger. Here, Although I don't do suppose on the license plate thing that you would run the risk of people trying to pull you over um, if you had none, because they would potentially not, you wouldn't have any identifier showing that you were authorized personnel. So I guess maybe they would, but oh, code. Oh, this is where I was before with the code. Uh, I see. It's all coming together. the same map that I have to like try to remember how to get around. Oh, I don't even have a map. I really am just making shit up over here. Can I possibly crawl past that? Sure can't. up here. How do we get over here? Through here? Through here. Oh, 
how's the pistol? It not as good. There we go. Umberize, I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the point. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good point, Sea Weaver. Blinker is out, and also your turret is pointing at me, and I don't like that. I've never heard of a mutant I see full of Negro so huge. Ow, I've been arrowed. Now my head. I don't know if I have actual health. I've taken a few hits, but I've not been like seemingly losing health. Oh, that was satisfying. Reload. I hit just a ton of them with that grenade. Oops. Yeah, so I guess the, the only... The only risk with Elden Ring, I think, is... Well, and that's one of the reasons I suggest the, the sort of rebalance mod, because that might help. But, like, I, I have played through Elden Ring twice, and so I, I wouldn't want to end up losing interest on you, because I, I feel like that could be a risk of just, like, losing interest in it, because I've done it twice on stream. I mean, I do love Elden Ring probably my favorite game but but i also just don't replay games all that much i've reached the target location damn this is big all right lobo marking the target Roger. oh it's a target mark that's 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 why i couldn't use it i see What's that? Oh, I do have a heal item. Okay, Captain. I'm reloading. Well, okay. I mean, give me a second. I'm a little occupied. I'll try to mark the thing. Lord, there's a lot of you. Shut up. They're coming from the mole. Ah, I've been arrowed. Give me a break. Damn it, these things are using weapons. I'm sure they're thinking the same about you. I really need to mark the same spot again. Literally do the thing you just did. Just do it again. About to collapse. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. Up a minute deal. Is that a typo or is that just a word that I don't know? Or is that a reference? Where should I point next? Five more from the mountains. 
A reference? Okay. Ah, ah my tablets. Face punch. Grenade, I have this for you. Enjoy. Okay, goodbye. I'm a little busy. So Lusa Ow! It's Lucifer's brother. Good. God, there's so many of you. All right, well. I am certainly incredible, just as God's favorite son must be. I watched that hit me in the eye. Why does this stupid thing feel so inaccurate? Is this more accurate? Maybe it is. Stop it. Stop. Stop. You know what? I'm gonna stop wasting time. Oh, please go faster. Please go faster. Yes! <laughs> oh, never mind. You've all perished. Well, how very fortunate. What's this? Oh. <laughs> Would anybody like some yarn balls? What you doing here? I assume I'm going up this way. Where am I going next? Oh, I'm I found going. Found a way down. Ah. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. We're going in. Captain, I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Boy, they certainly have provided me with plenty of ammo, haven't they? <clears throat> He's a biggin. He's a biggin. Here you go. Anywhere, can I? <laughs> well, thank you, Seabreaker. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you chose to comment on the short. Good. I'll signal with the locator. Break. Nice. You're still covered in armor. Man, they give me all this ammo and they won't even let me use it. I just have to, like, walk around for a while. And occasionally hit him with an artillery. I, I guess I can shoot him in the back, but it doesn't really do very much. Ow. Yep. Boink. It is fine. Ow. You know, I don't know how effective holding up the gun to block is going to be against a weapon like that. I mean, that is... That is... Oh, <laughs> I, I accidentally equipped the grenade. 
I think it's funny that you can try to block with a grenade. What a terrible idea that is. Ah, shit. I was trying to get it off. Don't block with a grenade. That's just terrible. Chap, it's not broken. You just like to do random shit. Yeah. Got him. I'll keep going. The rest of you stay <laughs> Where? Above the where did I put that? I love how I put all of these treasures into just some mystery treasure pocket that doesn't even take space in my inventory. And that was a gargantuan mace. Morningstar, technically. A just gargantuan. And it's like, it's cool. I'll sell that so later. We'll just pocket it. Everything is fine. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I found it. Gross. It's the Megamycete. Megamycete. Sounds like a powdered Alpha medicine squad. thing that you would get the at so now we can the, the, the pharmacy, doesn't it? It just seems like... About damn time. You know, oh, a little irregular? Go get the Mega My Seat. You'll feel much better. And two explosives aren't. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. <clears throat> not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. <laughs> Side effects may include a very large list of misfortunes. Keep your distance. But also potential time. immortality. So I guess you know. It's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. It's there really a toss-up. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah, yeah. you dick. I mean, seriously, if this must if be they had just bad. told Ethan, this whole thing would have been a very different game. So they're using this to control the bioweapon. It's a book. We can open it. Subject name, Donna Beneviento. Ah, that's the, uh... <clears throat> Angie. Well, Donna and Andy. And Andy? Angie. Cado affinity favorable. Brain functions normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal-producing substance which controls plants infected by the, the mutamycete. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadeau among her dolls in order to control them from a distant and unfit vessel for Ava. Interesting. Interesting. I like how they've just thrown us this lore drop right at the end. Subject name, Carl Heisenberg. Cadeau Infinity, Affinity, incredibly favorable. Brain functions normal. Has electric organs similar to the electric ray, Narc Japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system, can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen. Specimal? Specimen, but still unfit vessel for Ava. Okay, okay, what have we got? What have we got? Which one's this? Alcina Dimitrescu. Most favorable Kado Infinity. Brain functions normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. <laughs> Explains that. No, due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Ava. Salvatore Moreau. Keto affinity low. Brain functions surprisingly low. How must... How... How unfortunate... 
The Cadeau has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills in a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. Subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects, an unfit vessel for Ava. Tough break, Moreau. You didn't ask for this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, that's, that's, that's an embryo. That's a lady, probably Miranda. We're looking at things, we're looking at things. It's, it's nice of them to just have a photo lineup for us to, to peruse. Who the heck are you? Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. <clears throat> I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism, positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never, t never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution, the progenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that, I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. I think that's a really cool tie-in to Umbrella Corp. Not that I actually know much history of Umbrella Corp, because I haven't actually played other Resident Evils. I have simply, you know, osmosed sufficient information about them over time, because they are such a significant piece of, you know gaming history at this point my ava it's been 100 years since i lost you to the spanish flu i was so powerless back then but now now i can bring you back to life from the megamycete i had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities i took her apart and revived her in the megamycete regulator the giant's chalice all that is left is to merge her with the megamycete the ceremony can finally begin after i lost you i was so stricken with grief that i wandered into a cave to die I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it, the Megamycete, completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. When I touched the... I read that already. I glanced over at chat and I lost my place. The Megamycete breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. Just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamycete. That way, I could control them, experiment on them. I've experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Cadeau. Yet, none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA, but all they created was another defect. Eveline. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Ava, I have waited too long to see you again. Oh, hey. Show me There's your hands. Mia. I'm Bryce. This is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. Hooray. It really is you. It's Mia. 
I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? But you're alive. In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. <laughs> oh, okay. A little casual Stick war. To the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. I mean, true. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. <laughs> you piece of shit. You asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't yeah. Care. Yeah. Give him a piece of your mind. We were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? <laughs> well, where is my daughter? Well, go on. We got bad news. I could save him, but I can save Rose. So, so Ethan's dead, and your child has been quartered. She wasn't drawn and quartered, just quartered. So there's Not that. Safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. <clears throat> I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. <clears throat> dun dun dun. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, see, I know that because I have seen this game played. I was, I was leaving the suspense. Sea Weaver, jeez, killing me. Although, really, everybody at this point has seen or played this game, but me. So it's there. All right, we're we're running on pure spite now, baby. Did I get here? God, hey, our please. fingies are back. Wait, wait, wait a second. I mean, no, not really. Oh, we're not. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Is this his real body or are we in, in dreamland right now? Did he actually regenerate that hand? Cause he lost he lost the two fingers on that hand. The 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 ring and the pinky. And I can't help but notice that he still has his wedding ring on that hand. Which would have been eaten by a freaking lichen at some point. Cause they took a, a, a big old honk of that hand. I still have to save Rose. <clears throat> <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? Ah, yes, that's right. I remember that. He was, he was always running on pure spite. See? Miranda didn't kill you. <clears throat> you mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Remember. Just a quick splash of uh, goop and you're good to go. Three years ago, the Baker House. <laughs> Stopped. You were murdered by Jack. You died there. This is such a good reveal because it's a whole game later. I love that. That's, that's impossible. <clears throat> you shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, <laughs> you! Who even are you? I hate you. What, what am I? Spite. 100% spite. I, I, <clears throat> Did all that. <laughs> Rose, 
Mia. I... Okay, but how does he repair the jacket with the goop? That's what I want to know. <laughs> that one wouldn't have worked. Mold man. Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> mold man. You can't ever see your family again. Family. Family. That's some very effective mold. No, no. Rose. I have to save. My daughter. You're already dead. Yeah, come on. Spike fuel. <laughs> Get worked up. <laughs> get, get the spike generator a running. Will save Rose. <clears throat> Flashbang. Ah, uh, it hurts. Uh, uh. Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! That's what it's all about! Oh, it was a dream hand. We didn't regenerate a ring somehow. Still missing the fingies. At last, he awakes! <laughs> hey, Duke. Where am I? <laughs> How's it going? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. What a... Uh, Duke is still such an interesting mystery man, now? though. Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much, and I'm already on the way. Thanks, Duke. You're the best. You should arrive shortly. Thank you. But Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. It's not, it's not doing too good. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who, what well, are you? There's the good question. Even I can't quite answer that. Your uh home. -huh. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? I mean, what's the alternative? Yeah. I have to be. Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's correct. <gasps> what, what's the alternative? I live in this carriage forever? What? I gotta go. We gots to go. We get loaded up. I gotta have plenty of supplies for this. <clears throat> Any last upgrades you'll sell me, Duke? Oh, and a save point. There, good. Naturally. Yeah, give me that gunsmith, baby. One moment, please. Max deeps. Leave this to me. Absolutely not. I never 100% for anything because the I light. simply can't be bothered. Choose I don't have patience for that shit. May depend on it. Oh, I definitely did not. It's Cigar made of Cuba. It's really damp. How upsetting. Oh, the assemblage of life <clears throat> machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. A long barrel for rid of the 61. It's fine, I don't have that. Uh, gunsmith. Mm. Cranking the damage on that bad boy. Amat Victoria Koram. 
Okay, I, I, I probably have enough of those. I have actually, I actually have so much ammo. I am so. Please <clears throat> be well. Thanks. I'm so ready to rock. All right, let's toss this onto the shortcut. Because you know what? We're certainly not going to need the pocket knife. <laughs> we're just... We're just not. We can more quickly get to this. We'll still have to pop in for the grenade launcher if we want it. I just... I just have so much ammo. I'm just gonna throw all of the strongest shit as fast as I can. I don't think this will be too much of a problem. Cue me hilariously dying, but... Based on the rest of it, the game, I, I think I ought to be okay. Out of my way. Well, maybe I need that knife. Nah, the knife's shitty. It hasn't done me any good for a long time. You know what? Out of my way, everybody. You're all you're all munchkins at this point. Clear out. I've got an important place to be. We're doing the old soul strat of run past. My beautiful daughter. Come to me. <clears throat> Is that you? Oh, how I've missed you. How can you even tell the difference? Like... And like, who knows what that is? It's just, it's just Rose. My power is leaving me. Oh, right. Rose. Miranda. I hate you. Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me. Hundred percent spite. No! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get it now! <laughs> Mine. Let go! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to still have a gun, me. right? Just like pop it into her mouth and just bang, 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 bang. What is due? Thank you. Ow, my bones. Hold on. Am I out of health, guys? No, I still have some. You know what? I might as well just max out how many of those guys I have. After all, everyone dies.
Uh oh. <laughs> Hold on. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left me in my house. Oh, yes, now. The hell I will. I will take back my daughter! I don't like this. <laughs> die, die, die! All right, we're out of the dark. The if I combine Rose with a mega mice, my daughter will be Ooh. made manifest. Trees, now. save me, trees. <laughs> a century, all of the best. That was a miss. No goop, thank you. I can take any four lines. Ow! Why do you need to fear? Woo! Fighty lady. Uh-oh, that was a bad shot. You psycho! Oh shit! I lost sight of her. Knife to the rescue. To ensure I never see your face, I will feed you to the dogs. Every time. <laughs> Ow. Just keep shooting. Yeah, as you say about RE9, this really is a damn good game. And one of the reasons that this one in particular sort of interests me a little more than some of the other ones is like, it's just a solid first person shooter too. It's got a, it's got a really, just a great campaign, strong narrative. Gunplay is good. <clears throat> Ethan, on, pull yourself together, man. Ethan, come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan. Wake up. Chris, Ethan, you did it. It's finished. I think. That's right. I'm great. Finished. We gotta move. <laughs> That's very big. We gotta go. Oh, 
big and disgusting. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? <clears throat> alive. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. Can you tell yourself? Now, come on, it's not that much further. Oof, it's over. That hand is gnarly. Teach her to be strong. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. Time, time to go. So you mentioned the not perfect, so the get nuked. I assume if you get perfect, do you does Ethan actually make it out? Out of curiosity. <laughs> but um, kiss. Oh, you at least get implication. Honestly, this is one of those times where I think... Wait. Well, yeah, DLC setup. I think this is a better, like, narrative conclusion regardless. I think the narrative arc we can't go. is Not just kind husband. of better if he does get nuked. Like, you tell me where they, they built up to that, obviously. No, so, like, I feel like it's better if they... Tell go me through with what's it. Going on. Where? <clears throat> Blammo. What was that? I told you to sit down. Where is he? Chris? What have you done? He's gone. I tried. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Also done, done, done. Apparently. Someone's got to pay. <laughs> Disgusting. Babies. Awful. Vile. Yay. What a good game. I enjoyed that. <clears throat> we saw this already. Yes, yes. That's fine. We've, I don't need to watch the credits. 
Aha! After credit scene. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Not that he can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a killer whale. I bet the moon feels like a killer whale. At least it does in its heart. The moon wishes to be a killer whale. Thanks. Last week. Uh, subtitles for up. Ethan Winters. You know how it is. <laughs> Despite it being written literally there. Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. Yeah, it's a pretty shitty she joke, bro. Even Chris doesn't know what I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. <laughs> yeah, it's just... just a kid. Don't be an ass. Like, what the heck, man? Way to keep it together, Rose. Yeah, but also he's an ass. So, you know, it's fine. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. They drove off into the sunset. And maybe ran over this guy here who's walking in the street. <laughs> it was long. Why were we just sitting there watching him? Father's story is now done. Yay. 10 hours, 20 minutes. Difficulty level, Village of Shadows. Oh, good. Extra content shop, concept art, figures, challenges. Challenges in order to receive completion points. CP can be exchanged for a variety of bonuses. New game mode, weapons, concept art. New movies, special weapon. Oh, oh, wow. Whoa, I've completed a lot of stuff. Holy smokes. Total earned 77,000. That seems pretty good. I don't, I don't know, but it seems pretty good. It's fine. I, I'm not coming back for this, the completion. I do want to see how much... Extra content shot. How much stuff does stuff cost? Like 30k, 20k, 10k, 10. Oh, infinite ammos. Boy, that would be nice. Infinite ammo for the... Oh, the rifle must be fully upgraded and fully customized to unlock this item. I see. That's why I couldn't get those. Well, that's just too bad, isn't it? Interesting. All right. Well, we've wrapped it up.
what what a pleasant game. It's just it's it's a really really just a good entry to game. Like it feels it's it's refreshing to have a game that's like that satisfying kind of on every major beat. It it's it's a really good game. I enjoyed that tremendously. Well, thanks all for hanging out through that. I'm not exactly sure what the next game is going to be, but this Saturday, at the very least, we're going to take a break and we're going to do some fan bits because I feel like it. it seems like a nice time. I haven't done one, done any in a little while. Just wrapped up a game. Feels like the perfect timing. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Sea Weaver. Always a pleasure. Glad to see you hanging out. I have played Vampire. Yes. I have not done it on stream, but I'm certainly not going to be sufficiently motivated to play through a second time. It is a fun game, though. I did enjoy it tremendously when I played it. Um, but yeah, I've got, I've got a few in the list of things to play. Um, I'll just have to decide which one feels right next. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for hanging out. We'll be back on Saturday for um for the old fan bit creation. We will. We will have V Rising coming up soon. All right. Thanks for coming by. Enjoy your Friday and the start of your weekend. All right. See y'all later. Bye. Initiating good night sequence. Dispersing appropriate dosage of a compound. Three, four, seven, seven. Initiating phase one of memory calibration. This won't hurt a bit. Just close your eyes.